We're a couple of Kiwis living in Australia who 10 years ago bought a 28 foot yacht to refit and live on to learn about living aboard and save enough money to buy a stripped out sunken 70 tonne steel trawler. Our dream was to convert a diesel fishing boat into a biodiesel veggie oil solar wind powered expedition and research boat capable of handling big seas, big projects and taking a crew from around the world and online with us. After rebuilding her, we'll soon be launching with our crew to do research, projects, expeditions, innovative engineering and work around the world. Welcome aboard. Welcome back to Project Brewpeg. Today we're working on our cabinets and shelving in the studio and the galley. And I'd also like to introduce Bruce. He's a patron of ours and a volunteer for the weekend. He's a retired plumbing teacher. He's giving us a hand to get all of this stuff sorted. This is the layout that we're working with. The wet bench is the long stainless bench. The prep bench is the small one with the cooktop. And then the fridge in the corner has our snack bar beside it. What is it, a steam cleaner? Yeah. For, um... All the fabrics and stuff. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to so everything you've got to mark on everything, right? Mm -hmm. I just don't know what his code is. I just have to try and understand what's going code. He did tell me that it was like four years ago. Four V. So we've got a 600, a 500, and a 600. So 600, there will be 600. So that. We're dropping that one. Put this guy in. So you're going to put a, um, a mushroom-style hatch somewhere in the roof. Oh, yeah, I was going to say because you probably do want to make that yeah. bit bigger, then, don't you? Yeah, yeah. To get as much air out of the place. If you start smoking up or yeah. burn yeah. the dinner or whatever. That's right. Yeah. yeah. We're thinking yeah. of a vent, a, a long vent like uh, like that shape mm. by the window on the other side. Yeah, right, and that, okay. that could be opening, but it'll be through the wall, so it'll have it'll be quite a, a change yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. We can open that if we One of those to. magic little vents that you make. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It'll only be about three weeks' work. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> That's <laughs> what's, what's happening in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Floating around on a, a board weekend or something. This, this is easy to build because it's just basically a tube welded into the roof mm. with a mushroom, and all the engineering happens down on the bench, and I just cut a hole and weld it in. And you'd have that threaded so yeah. that you just screw it down and yeah. tightens down the seals when yeah, you're yeah. going anywhere yeah. nasty. Yeah. yeah. And, that and, would be a good idea. And build a big diameter thing as well. So you lift yeah. it up and you've got bucket loads of, of yeah, VFO. Yeah, yeah. I Absolutely. do think we're underestimating how much water will go on this roof, though. Yeah. Because when I've looked at the um, photos of this boat in the water, really laid in down, it's right up against the, the mm. windows. So. Yeah. I'm totally lost. Where are we? Uh, where's where's uh, the front wheelhouse front. is that way, isn't it? The wheelhouse is right above us. The windows right, and the wheelhouse okay. are right above us here. Okay. And then this is so the, this is the front deck? Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it just comes yeah. right over. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to get all your seaway, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You remember our lists? This is the wet bench list. We got a fair bit done. The side wall list. That was crossed off as well. And then a random list that we found. Hello. Come on in. Come on in. Hello. Hey. Good, good. Yeah. What are you doing this afternoon? You're around this afternoon? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it during the sign. Okay, yeah, yeah. You come over midday and we'll have yeah, a seat. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, you, you're, you're peeled off. We're ready to go. Yeah. It ain't the way I want it. Get to find the truth. It's actually really reflective. It's like a mirror. <laughs> Can't you see? It'll actually make it look bigger. It'll yeah. widen the space out a bit once you get all the white stuff off. I'll, yeah. I'll drill these out for clearance. Drill them out. Yeah, I'm just thinking because it's a, I think it was an M5 or an M6 or something that I put in. But I'm just thinking I might knock that out to be like a 10 mil hole because it doesn't matter. You're not going to yeah, see it. Neither yeah. here nor there. So yeah. All right, and just bolt it right through. This right through. Yeah. No, everything. Everything? Anything and everything. Right, 
959 or whatever. 959. And what did we have? We had 500 and a 600. That's right, we had to modify one of them, didn't we? Yeah, we had to chop some down. Yeah. So maybe we don't put it up. Maybe put it, put it up and see if you like it. Yeah, let's put it up and see if we like the big squash yeah. basically. Yeah, so I love the individual, not not the whole way along. I love the space at the side, the mm. side of me here. Yeah. Is that where it's going to go, that height? Roughly, yeah. Hmm. I'll hold it and you guys have a stand, have a, have a gander. You think? Yep. It gives yeah. you more space here. It does, it gives it a It's just the, the appearance and the, the feel of it's different. Oh, that's not bad actually. That plating there lines up spot on with this. Mm. Yeah, with the gap before the end there, it does. I thought it was going to be way worse, but no, that's not a big deal. It's not that big, is it? No, it's it's great. It's fine. So pull it pull it back then. You could almost go like that if you wanted to. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we just need to seal this really well. Yeah, mm. yeah. We can mount it. Mount it and then we'll pull it back off. Do yeah. do the sealing and then put it back up. Yeah. If you've got half a dozen coats on it mm. of polyurethane, you can actually. If you get it, hit it with a bit of 1200 grit, you can actually it'll hold the polish yeah, like, right. a, a, like a car. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm, it's amazing stuff, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. I think we go for that. If it's that kind mm. of finish, then yeah. it'll be really easy to clean. Nothing's going to grow on it. I, I, know, I don't know if this is wise or not. I was just thinking, I wonder if we should rattle the edges as well so we don't have any, and, and keep it really clean edged wise so that we can, um, so no shit goes into the I'm also the thinking of foreheads. Oh, yeah, true. It's quite an edge, isn't it? Yeah. I think if you just stayed there permanently, have the waste you'd take your shirt off and do an atlas thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can we make a decision quickly? <laughs> he chopped out one. <laughs> I'll hold one if you want to hold the other, and then you could have a look. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I don't mind that at all, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me take this one down. Yeah. Then I'll have a look. Oh no, I like it with both. Do you? Yeah, okay. personally, I like both. I like both. Yeah, okay, I'll make both. That's fine. Yeah. Yep. You can stack them up all along. Yeah, all along, yeah. 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 Alright, decision made. Done. So we do three 600s and then one 600 here, so that's four 600 mil shelves. And then. We've got one here. Yeah, and we've got a 500 and a 600 spare. What's the 700 or 800 long one do? What's that? There's this one here. It goes oh, on top okay. of these here. I think oh, it's yeah, 850 okay. or something from memory. I'm going to hold it and you level it. Is that I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if we just do a bit of a calculation as to where we're going to have the top, like because we've got to figure out where we're at insulation yeah. and everything is. Yeah, absolutely. So, to, so being a plumber, mm -hmm. gas stuff is in your world, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You can maybe instruct me what to do with gas. Yeah, you? sure, absolutely. Awesome. I'd love to pick your brains on that. Actually, I've got a little present for you. It might help. <laughs> I'll get it at lunchtime. So like there, and then up there somewhere. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm flush there, which is about right. Yep, I reckon I'm pretty right at this end. Bruce also donated some amazing tools. So he has here a sniffer. This is basically to detect volatile gases in the boat. So awesome to checking if uh, anything's leaking gas wise. And also a gas pressure tester and an incredibly accurate thermometer. Should you do that? Normally it'd go berserk. Yeah, that's handy bit of gear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. This is for testing how much for man you are. <laughs> Manometer? Yeah. <laughs> What's the range? <laughs> you can choose, choose how much of a man you are from 0 to 5 psi. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, we turned around and there was another list. So we got that one done too. Like hell, 
English one. Isn't that amazing? I didn't quite get the gap right. <laughs> I'm used to um, secondhand stainless stuff we get from the scrap here. It's you know, marked and eh? yeah, yeah, it's so clean. I don't think you'll notice the space in here once you get the shiny no. walls and that on. It'll be almost like a mirror. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Feel as though you've got lots of space. Yeah. Right now I have to figure out how to get the bloody plastic from the behind there out. No, there was a little burr. I, I tried winding it in and I got nervous and stopped because it stopped winding and easy. So, but you got the tap out? Yeah, tap's out. Yep. Just... Ah. Up. I've got to go up. With the shelving in and the plastic off the stainless. We do need to do a bead of sealant down there, and then when the bench arrives, we're going to do a bead of sealant around the edge of the bench. But that for now is finished. We've got the five um, M6 bolts holding that shelf up, so that's plenty strong enough. Uh, Ian was here earlier today, and he said that the vent is normally lower down. Oh, did he? Yeah, he said that might be a problem for efficiency. What if we took these out? and hot rotted the shit out of it. I did explain to him what you'd planned, <laughs> that at some point it's gonna be like <laughs> ridiculously strong. Yeah. But yeah, no, he's, he said it might be what's, what some of the issue is. Oh, right, eh? mm. so it is. I didn't realize it. Not enough power. I just figured smacking your head would be. Yeah, well, they're normally annoying, aren't they? When you, yeah. when I'm in someone's house or something, they're kind of like there. Yeah. Like, I have to kind of be careful and hit my head. Yeah, and again. You're, you're not exactly tall. <laughs> no. I honestly reckon just a five or six horsepower diesel engine <laughs> would be plenty. Yeah, probably at some point. <laughs> this looks amazing. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Not ideas, eh? Yeah, the bottom, the bottom's not held. The top's held only. Because yeah. yeah. it's only got a three mil mm. back on it, so I didn't want to screw into that because it'll no, no, pull no. apart. Do you want to have a, a run along here? Or? I might do eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Just see how we go. See if we need it. It's got a lovely um. Lovely, uh, what's this called? Grain. grain. That's yeah. a lovely grain, isn't it? Yeah. So it's got one thin coat of polyurethane. Tim left it for us to decide how much we want to put on. So we're going to coat this within an inch of its life uh, because we want a mirror finish if we can. And you're going to radius the sides with the router. So yeah. it's um, lovely and smooth. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's a solid little thing, isn't it? <laughs> well built. <laughs> This is the hospital cabinet that we found at the scrapyard. We've modified our galley plan and we're fitting this in rather than a timber box. This will be for our cutlery and utensils and things that might end up going in wet. Okay. Made for it. You've got a tray there for your trays and everything. Beautiful. Right. So what's next to do then? It's um, because Dane's got to take this off. He's got to put a bracket on the back of this and yeah. then we've got to bolt that onto the wall and then we bolt everything down after that. So, so there's got to be some sort of backing plate behind here. I was going to do a bit of aluminium 50 by 50 angle and mount it, um, so if that's your angle I was going to mount it mm. against the stainless mm. and then the bench will sit on that lip and then I'll screw up into the bottom of the... This is a, just in this corner here, yeah. is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, um, yeah. Like it, but it runs almost the whole, whole length, it's that, mm. it stiffens that whole backing right up. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll I'm glad I can keep that. Looks great, yeah. yeah, you can fit trays or whatever in there, can't you? Bundaberg gets a lot of international cruisers coming in. Some boats are bigger than others, this one's no exception. These guys are obviously just popping in to see the sights on their way around the world. In fact, that's probably not true. They're probably just run out of sugar or something. They're just popping in to grab a bit. Introducing a large sugar boat for those that didn't get sarcasm. Bundaberg's one of the biggest sugar exporting ports on the east coast of Australia. So this boat comes in every four to six weeks roughly and fills up with sugar and then goes off to wherever. At the end of the road where we're based, there's a massive shed. It's about 400 feet long, 500 feet long, something like that. And it's literally just one big mountain of sugar from one end to the other and it all goes into this boat. This is not original. This is not supposed to be there? No. But because we had to come this way with this, yeah. there was a smaller gap there. And then we realised that we're not going to buy 
We've got this little oven thing, mm -hmm. cheapy, um, and we need to buy a diesel oven and a whole unit, like a stove yeah. and, and everything, yeah. which we'll put in later. But it's we'll probably rebuild this bench. Yeah. Because it'll be, yeah. it'll take up this whole area and it'll be that big, and we'll probably completely change all of this when we get there. But it's a six thousand dollar stove, so that's happening. We don't later. want to continue on with. The oh, so it's a range. Yeah, range and cooktop. Yeah, yeah right. And okay. diesel is. It's to shape really great, very efficient, but it means we can use diesel biodiesel. You, you can, can use, well, you can use pretty much any burnable oil. Oh, so, so it's like an agar stove or whatever those slow combustion stoves where you, yeah, you yeah. have a gas or you can run it on diesel or yeah. bloody yeah. biofuel yeah. or yeah. wood yeah. or whatever. For us, the challenge is LPG stays liquid when you get really cold, so um, so we, you know, we have to come up with something else and and. Um, diesel's sort of the norm that everyone goes to, and one of the reasons for that is because you can have one fuel on your boat. So you've got mm. fuel for your engine, fuel for your cooking, mm. it's heating, it's Everything. All, all diesel. So what we were originally thinking was we're using that just on here, um, and we were thinking of buying um, an a, a electric one to fit where it was supposed to go in here, and then we realised, why are we doing a second thing to only do a third thing? Mm. So we thought, we'll live with that, put drawers on there, and then... Build the put other the oven later and, and live without mm. an oven. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's just timing. It's just going to take yeah. us a year or so to get the other one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you got to fund it all, don't you? Yeah. Once yeah. yeah. we're in the water, it gets easier to fund things because we're not spending you know so much money keeping the boat on the hard stand and everything. Yeah. Else, so. But sure. what it does mean is we have extra drawers we can put in here, so that's what we're doing. So it doesn't quite line up. The back is that way, but isn't it? And this yeah. is a gap. Mm. I have a solution mm? to the gap. Oh. Swap them. Okay. Well, then that one goes all the way back, and oh, the bench top covers it. Yeah, that'll work, and then you don't have a gap down the back there, yeah. do you? And the other thing is this, none of this is square, so that is how the fridge has to sit. <laughs> so I was going to do a stainless thing all the way around there. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. So that'll be 30 mil because they're 15 each. Could be fat, isn't it, if you put three layers of that on 40. the side of it? Yeah. Yeah, right, right. But... You could do one in between each of them. Yeah. That would look even. It would. It would. Yeah. Absolutely. And it would give you a gap, yeah. a margin in between here, and it would look fine. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good idea. Shimmy this one over. spears so like I don't because we've changed the design of this slot and I think these are worked out to be spear. Things come up, things go down, make me turn back around. My spider sin screaming that I'm mad. This is our second desking in the editing studio. Obviously needed some installation ballet. As part of this cabinet that we installed, we had to make a few modifications to the original design um, because our widths changed. Everything changed when it came to layout, so we've put a panel down the side here to account for a 15mm difference in size. We've got these end panels here, and there's um, some little strips in between each one just to allow overall 45mm increase in width. You can sort of see it's all flush, so it worked out quite well having that 45mm um, increase. They're not the ideal cupboards for it, but they're going to work out fine for what we need. This shelving is going up on the stainless wall over the back so we'll get stuck into that shortly and mount it basically along here it goes tucks up nice and close and uh, runs over here we've got a microwave going in this area here so we're going to make a, a couple of design choices about how we're going to mount that 
We're going to make it about the same size as this little bench oven. If we can fit that, we can fit most microwaves. So that's going to be something that'll be handy out at sea. And tucked over in that corner, it's away from everything. In the studio, we have some more shelving to go up. So these are a 600mm box and a 500mm box screwed together. And they're going to be um, fitted up onto the wall up here on these. We're going to put some studs in this here and we're thinking of a horizontal stud. These ones here are just uh, glued into the wall and um, they're not weight bearing. And that's one of the issues. So we're going to potentially put in some um, studs that will bolt into the wall. Um, similar dimensions to these, but they'll be bolted, um, you know, every sort of 200, 300 mil, something like that. Um, and then the shelves will be bolted, uh, screwed onto those studs. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. Jess doing her pre-race stretches. Yeah, I think it'll work out okay. And yeah. that should, I should sit that, that'll sit dead on that edge there by the time I nice. tighten it all up. Sometimes the editing process is slowed down by external factors. In this case, a couple of paws. She's so much more relaxed. She was a little stray. We've been domesticating her in the hopes of rehoming her when we leave, or the very vague possibility that she may be even be able to come with us. No, I'm fine. I'm a bit slow on the order, to be honest with you. I think I've got a simpler way of doing the corner. Instead of doing two boxes and then trying to build a weird shaped third box, why don't I do two boxes and do a piece, flat piece of plywood along the bottom? Because that means I can lift the whole thing up. So, the reason you want to do that is... It's miles easier. Okay, easier because... Because, so you mount the two things here, and then you just have a nice flat bottom that goes all the way along. You really don't need like a double thickness. Okay. In terms of clean lines, I think it's quite work so well because the lines are clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, well we can put the two up, and then... But I'll put, you can I'll just put, build a shelf. Just throw a shelf up. You don't have to build another box. I didn't even think about that. Just build a, sh build a shelf. Okay. Yeah. Easy as. Yeah. All right. So I was just thinking in my head. I, I had it in my head that I had to build it the same dimensions. And I yeah, thinking, me too. But then I thought, why do I have to do that? Yeah, why no, can't I build it good. different? Yeah. That'll be the food kicking in, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Having some. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent. All right. Well, that solves that problem. All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. I'm just gonna. I just need to drill a couple of screw holes, like just mark that stainless, so I can take the thing off and then. Rip oh it right, up. okay. Okay, we've got a line on the bottom there. Yep. Oh. Oh, yeah. Are you doing any face to camera? <sighs> I did some swearing to camera. <laughs> I just snapped the drill in two places inside a hole. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> inside that hole is most of that drill. Yeah, so that's the next challenge, just trying to undrill that hole. Oh, it's a scary sight, isn't it? it? Put a bit of pressure on it, aren't it? Why is it so? I reckon I'm drilling through the side of the bloody steel. I reckon I'm... Off. You're going down the side of the box section? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Are you trying to put a rib nut in there, right? Yeah. I'm wondering. All right, think about this. What can I do? What are my options? Maybe I just go above it. Drill another one above it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, brilliant. 
Yeah, this is just about done. And can, we can, can you live with not seeing it? Yeah, yeah, we'll fine. You'll just send me a movie or something. <laughs> that will work. I'll be happy. Oh, it's brilliant. Um, well, Sounds yeah. like you've been having a, a fight with tools. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with tools for the day. <laughs> <laughs> me and tools are not getting along at the moment. <laughs> It's just, it was like break a drill. Oh, seriously, that's a bad luck thing. Oh, and, no, and then I just, just run, like, straight away break another one. I was like, oh, come on. And then I was like, all right. Like, what you were know, you going through? Third time's a charm. Snap. Oh, seriously. Were you just up there? Just You've broken three, have you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, then, and then the rib nut machine was, yeah. was basically like it was done up Didn't too work. tight. So I had to strip it apart to actually yeah. get it to change. You know how you have little images in your head? Yeah. I have this little cartoon image of a little ambulance. The yeah. formalance rushing into anyone who's gone yeah, through yeah. tools and Days around like the this. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel it's like I've just awful, spent I've just spent two hours basically sharpening drills, breaking yeah. drills and sharpening drills, and then rebuilding a machine that doesn't work. And these aren't up yet. But that doesn't fit the job that I need anyway. Yeah, yeah and they're still not there, and it's one hole, and it's still not finished. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to boat work. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your help. Hey, yeah. It's been bloody awesome. That's all right. No worries. Yeah. Easy. I'll try and come back at some stage. I don't yeah. know when I can. Right, but. Yeah. Yeah, open invitation, eh? Yeah, yeah. excellent. Mm. We might no be worries. getting down your end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you might finish up yeah. down there at some yeah. stage. Uh, we can get a, a um, ply bench made up for this, though, so that we can get a stainless bench folded yes. soon. Yes, it's amazingly flush. Look at that gorgeous and straight. Yeah. It, it, it feels like it's a... It's yeah, not going to move, trust me. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> that's really good. If by the time you get it together, if you glue the, the top down and yeah. glue the top back to here as well and yeah. then stainless really? glue the stainless into place they're not going to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our snack bar has a top. So this um, snack bar, thanks to Bruce, we have it complete now. We're going to get a stainless splashback made and um, a nice surface, all out of stainless. That'll be awesome and done soon. This bench here is getting a stainless bench made for it as we speak. Um, it's going to be pretty darn cool too. We're going to be putting a new cooker into this hole at the end. Um, you can see on this end of this bench, we've got some nice curves here that overhang. That's for protection so that the cupboards are looked after. We're going to be doing some cool little handles in this area here. So more to come on that, but stainless, it's going to be awesome.